we're going to check out today the MIDI Boy, which is a open source DIY handheld little computer, and it's got MIDI support, and it comes in form of a kit. So it's based on the Arduino, and it's probably one of the most popular hobby sort of platforms out there. So the whole point with this little uh, kit is that it's going to give you a bit of um, experience with putting kits together and also a little bit of programming experience with the Arduino side. The cool thing about this is it brings the music world to it. And so if you're starting to look at maybe getting into URAC or DIY synths or DIY music tech, this is probably a great starting point for it. Now in this video, you can check out the uh, video contents on the left hand side there. You can go skip to any section you like. Um, you can watch it from start to finish if you want as well. That's obviously all there for you. So the first half, we're gonna show the product and the second half is basically a manual, video manual if you like, on how to build it. So step by step. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about the specs while we're at it. So why don't we jump on over and have a look one. So this is the MIDI Boy, and uh, this one I actually built myself, and it's a 8-bit at mega 328p 20 megahertz microcontroller in there. It has a 1.3 inch OLED display, which is 128 by 64 pixels. It's monochrome, as you can see. It has two MIDI DIN ports, so there's a MIDI in and a MIDI out. It has six uh, tactile buttons. It's got an inbuilt little piezo speaker as well, and uh, you'll get to hear that a little bit later. And down below, it also has a nine volt battery slot, I guess you call it, and that will actually power this thing for, they say up to 16 hours, which is pretty good. Now this comes as a kit, so you have to build it, and obviously it's also Arduino compatible. All right, we're really stuck into it first. First, we're gonna check out a little bit of basics. Okay, so you can turn this on just with the little power switch here, on and off indicators there. Now, this little program that I've got installed here is actually a MIDI monitor which is pretty cool because we can actually see what's going on. And let's just press a few keys on the key step here. Now let me just show you what we've got set up. So we have the Arturia key step. Um, you can see the MIDI boy there. And we also have the Volker FM over here. So We've got the MIDI coming in from the key step, sorry, the side, and then goes out into the Volca FM. And what you can see here is a little MIDI monitor sketch, we call it. And uh, you can clear it, and it also has a little menu. And the menu you can control with these cursor keys here. So up, down, left, and right. You've got this MIDI through um, option, so I'm actually using that. By default, it's actually off. And when it was off, you can't actually use it as a MIDI through device. This one, decode MIDI data, you want to have that on. And this one here, hide noisy messages, you want to have that on as well. So you just exit just by hitting that button. So as you can see, it, it actually shows everything, even after touch, even modulation wheels, pitch bends. So um, I've got this in chord mode. So let's turn chord mode off. So it actually touch shows aftertouch, um, it also shows velocity, and it's pretty, pretty cool. If I was to play a sequence on here, It's keeping up with it so you can also clear it here as well so there you go that is the the first kind of uh, sketch for this thing and you can see it's you know it's got some, some some very good potential don't forget you can also program this thing so uh, what you do is you use the um, the Arduino what do you call it sketch pad or UI or whatever you want to call the Arduino um, you know, software that you get with it. You have to download this separately. Now, all the instructions on how to do all this are on, on the Blockaz or Blokaz 
www.ipsy.io website and I'll put a link in the description below of course and you can see here this is the MIDI mon what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to actually upload different sketches to this and to do that you turn it off and you hold down button B and turn it on hold it on for about a second or two and then the operating system should recognize this as a USB COM device and you'll, and you'll know it's different because the the Blocus logo will be displayed. And then we can go across to the um, Arduino and what we can do now is we can load up a another sketch. They call them sketches. Now I've got a, quite a few on their website you can download and I don't actually know if there's any more but there is a forum you can have a look at but we're going to do is we're going to have a look at we'll have a look at flappy ball there's flappy ball all right now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are on midi you've got a midi boy board you can't just have a standard arduino you can see down the bottom there's instructions on how to do this and the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your include library has got the um, the proper includes that are in the instructions so um, this video isn't to show you how to do that that's something else we could probably do another video on that but anyway let's upload this and you'll see down below here it's actually done it now let's close that off let's power this off it back on again now we've got flappy wall okay there you go there is another sketch so you can play games on it and the cool thing about playing games on it is completely battery powered so you can play it later put it in your backpack okay midi chords and all we need to do is literally upload. If it fails, it could be a problem with the software, but at the end, it will tell us if it's writing and it says it's done. And we can turn it off when it's done. Turn it back on again. All right, there we go. Now we've got a MIDI chord program. Okay, so. All right, let's try it. Let's try this one. Zero, three, and six. And we'll, and we'll save that. I'm just pressing one note. There you go. MIDI chords. So that's pretty cool fun. Um, but my favorite one is the is definitely the MIDI the MIDI monitor. So we'll put that one back on. Sketch. Upload. It's quite a big program this one. There we go. Finished. And let's try that out. Back to our MIDI monitor. I mean, how quick is that just to put sketches on? Into our menu. Now, this hasn't remembered to hide noisy messages, so. Um, there. Well, that's it. That's the MIDI boy. Um, I'm going to continue with the videos. Next section will be on how to build it. And this is actually me building it. So this particular one you can see here is actually being built by me. And you'll actually see the whole video of me putting this thing together um, step by step. And you can go fast forward, you know, pause, skip to different sections. So that's coming up next. Um, but I'll say goodbye from this part of the video. And uh, don't forget to let us know what you think in the comments. It's always good to hear from you if you like these little projects. But anyway, um, catch you guys later. See ya.